Hello Arrangers! Today let's talk once again about stairs, dynamic block, and how to cut. If you remember, last year of December, I gave away my stairs, dynamic block, and many of you had received it, right? But those stairs are limited only to I shape, L shape, and U shape. And you cannot even change the size of the thread. And now, I put my stairs dynamic block to the next level. And I call it version 2.0. I have now a dynamic angled stairs. For single angle, like L shape. And for two angles, like Z shape. And for three angles, like the W shape. I also have curved and spiral stairs. You name it guys, I've got you covered. In this version, you can change the width of the handrail. You can also change the, ex the length, the extension of the handrail in both ends. And now you can change the size of the thread as you like. Plus, you can now choose to have both handrail on the left and the right side or no handrail at all. You can also choose to have one handrail on each side as you like based on your own design. And lastly, you can add automatic number increment step number for your automatic generation of your step number. Are you now guys excited to see how it works? If yes, then sit back, relax, and I'll teach you how. Click the subscribe and the notification bell button to be part of our growing channel. Now I am here at my AutoCAD. As you can see in this drawing, there's a lot of stairs. All of these stairs I created using my Stair Dynamic Block version 2.0. And now I want to show you how to use my version 2 Stair Dynamic Block by recreating some of these stairs. But before that, let's delete those stairs that we want to recreate. This one, this U3. Z, L, Corb, Spiral, and W. And most of these are just the mirror of it. So to begin with, let's command I for insert and browse for my stair dynamic ILU. ILU stands for I shape, L shape, and U shape. And click starting point, select, and then using the grip, you can set its width. You can also choose to use this uh, quick properties palette to set its properties like for example the eye landing width I want 1.2 meters or if you don't have that one you can select and use the properties palette either way will work okay and this one using this grid can change the handrail type if you want no handrail left and right handrail or left handrail only, right handrail only, it's up to you. But in this case, I want the left and right handrail. As you can see, this grip at the middle, this will determine the extension of your handrail at this side. But in this case, I don't need to have extension. But here at the bottom, you can select as you like it. And you can also change the width of your handrail. And using this quick properties palette, I need the handle width with 75 mm. And that's it. We already have now a straight flight stairs in just a few clicks. And now we will recreate the U shape. Again, insert. Okay, and click the starting point and position. Select. Use this grip to choose the shape of the stairs in this case you shape two flights and then the number of steps as your requirement you can use this grip to change its flight width or you can use this quick properties palette by changing its properties the flight width let's say 1.2 meters and then you can choose the handrail type and I want left and right. You can also use this grip for the landing gap as you need it, but I don't need that one for now. 
and I want an arrow like this. All right. And now we will recreate the angle stairs in this corner. Press I for insert again and look for my stair dynamic angle and click OK. The position and the rotation select and then choose this grip to specify the length of the flight or the number of steps as well as this one and that's it we already have an angled stairs and this one we will need a u shape three flights insert and browse for my stair dynamic ilu click ok and then here the starting point and position its rotation select the type of shape u3 use this one to set its width and the number of steps here and you can also set its flight width or you can accept the default which is 90 meters and then this one i want to add some steps and move to center it and then choose the handle type this time i want left and right All right if you want more you can add depending on your requirement and once again, you can also have the option to extend its handle extension as well as the gap. Okay. And now we will insert the Z shape, which is this one. And then I will put it the starting point and then the rotation. Set its length. And the angle like this one and the number of steps as well as this one the angle and the number of steps and at the middle you can select this one and position this and you can as well type certain numbers 100 for example and the number of steps see you can also move to position this one and type a number let's say 100 and you want to add more steps you can do it that's it you can as well change the extension of the handrail but i will accept the default and that's it in just a few clicks we already have a straight flight stairs u type u type with three flights and angled stairs as well as the Z type and now we will recreate the curve one let's insert my dynamic stair curve where are you curve click OK and then let's find its center point select its radius and then its angle that will start here and it will end here you can also change the width of the stairs let's say 1.2 meters all right what else the, uh, the spiral stairs insert click for the spiral look for the spiral this one and click the center point here and a certain angle let's say negative 45 select and using this grip to set its width and then you can as well use this quick properties palette by changing the properties of center pole diameter let's say 156 inches and the handrail width let's say 75 mm and that's it you can also change the number of steps based on your requirement or the user defined. I will explain later on the user defined. Okay, but this time I will use the seven steps. And what else? The W shape. Insert. Look for my W. This is dynamic. Click the center point, the angle. Or the rotation and then you can set its angle here as well as this side 
set its width as well as the angle in this side and the number of steps this one you can also add some steps like this change its length and the angle and the number the length of the stairs and the number of steps we can add as well here and that's it we have just completed all possible stair shapes all right guys what's missing oh before i forgot what's missing is the step number with automatic incremental value but first let's make first our reference so that we can click some point and then using my own macro command to have this stair steps but before that i want to reset its number to one and then click this third step and then begin at here one two three four five and guess i will just fast forward this one and that's it so what we will do next is select those step number to rotate to position properly select all of these steps since it's not at the center of the steps and then the rotation and right there and you can delete the reference line all right guys you can have as well those automatic incremental number of steps now we will talk more on the drawback in each stairs i will also discuss the solution to it let's start with this stair dynamic block ilu this stairs i created using the action parameters inside the block editor while this angle stairs z shape w shape as well as the scorb i created this using a dimensional constraint parameters the problem with autocad is you cannot combine them you cannot combine dimensional constraint with action parameters i hope in the next a future version of autocad they will solve this problem but anyway the drawback in this stair dynamic block ilu is you cannot change the size of your thread it's fixed yes you can change the width of your stairs the flight width you can change as you like but the thread size is fixed that's the only drawback with these stairs unlike these angled stairs z shape w shape and as well as this curve shape is you can change each thread size like this one it can change to 300 it automatically updates also this z shape i can change the thread to let's say 300 it automatically updates as well as this w shape it has a thread size parameters this one let's say 250 and while this curve it has a properties for minimum thread size or depth the minimum radius or depth in this smaller curve you can change to your liking like for example let's say 150 it automatically updates or 200 the only drawback for this kind of stairs is you cannot change the stair width like this one 900 it's fixed that you cannot change actually technically yes you can change i have been here and change to one two yes it changes but the steps it did not update 
that's the problem with the array. If you put array path on your dynamic block, it maintains the length of your object. So technically, you cannot do it. Not unless you I will add another visibility state like this curve one. I provided an option for 900 mm, 1.2 meters, mm, 100, uh, 1,500 mm, as well as 1.8. But it is only limited to this length. So the solution I can think of is to create another dynamic block that you can change dynamically the stair width as well as the thread size like for example this one all stair type like for example the stair dynamic ilu i provided a stair dynamic out ilu outline for w as you can see here in my list we will try the z outline it has almost all of the properties with this one but the only drawback is there is no steps. See, I can drag. See, it only gives you the outline where exactly your steps, like this one. So, to solve this, since I can adjust the width of, your, of our stairs and adjust the position of our starting riser and the end riser we can create our own array path it adds a few extra steps but believe me it's all worth it we will create another line for its path and then our command ar for array path select this array path and select the object to be array enter and select the path curve this one and enter select this array object and make sure that it is in measure measure method and change the between to your desired trade size oh something is wrong let's do it again line and the path ar array path select the object enter and select the path curve select the array object and change trade size see we have now and if you will change again if you change your mind to change the stair width you can select the array object and under edit source click anything on that array objects and then you can adjust and it will auto and save changes and it automatically updates or you can also select this curve path and realign to it and then select the array object edit source this one enter and then you can reposition it and save your changes all right guys now here we will create another one at the middle line and the path ar ar and then it will show up here array path select the object to be array enter and select the path and select the array object and change the between properties let's say 300 that is now your trade size and as you can see we need to fix this one let's move it here because it's not aligned to our array objects and this one you can change or you can add another array and the path and then ar no ar and array path select the object enter select the path enter and select and change its properties to 300 or anything you can always come back and change to your desired trade size and if you like to change the handle type left and right now the steps are now we have some problem so to solve it is you can select the path object and reposition and then edit your source okay 
and then this one save changes all right guys if you change the angle so you have to select the path and reposition just like that all right guys I hope uh, I was able to give some insights on how to create stair dynamic block and for those who want to have a copy of my stairs dynamic block version 2.0 all you need to do is visit my page here and you can send me a message to purchase it all right guys what are you waiting for grab a copy now while it is still on 50% discount sale this 50% discount sale will only be available until July 23, 2021. Alright guys, that's all and once again, this is Architect Bernard Cadilinha, praying for your success. Bye!